What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Game Bloom with me, Andy, and welcome back to episode 10 of Assassin's Creed 2. In the last episode, it was fairly dry. We were doing some random bits that needed to be done, and off camera, the list, I've done an awful lot. I have found more viewpoints, upgraded more of the villa, found viewpoints in Florence. It's the same thing. Upgraded my armor, found codex pages, 10 codex pages, I believe. Collected some more feathers, all two of them. Open chests and I've bought treasure maps, so when you look at the map here, you will see that all the treasure shows up on them. I'm not sure why um, the feathers aren't showing up on them, but there's probably a reason for it. We might well need a feather map. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to continue with the main story. I have a feeling this might be another slightly slow one because my memory's a little bit fuzzy uh, about this actual section of the game, so we'll see. Also the webcam. And the face cam. I'm trying something a little bit different. I've got kind of, I've set this setting where it tracks my face, so the camera might go a little bit weird if I look at it in post production. It's you. And it's still a bit weird. Then I won't bother doing that again. I'll just try and look stick to the same place. settings. I'm still learning the, the face cam. Thing. Years, I've been kind I'm interrupting to you. them. I apologize. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Ha ha! You found another one. How I, found, I found nine others. Ten, ten of them. Hmm. This one is tricky to do with to all Wendy and that Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts eh? for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time. Just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Cool, so we're actually going to develop our assassin's techniques. This would be quite cool. Give you a good idea of what you can actually do with the assassin. So, let's have a look. Ten Sodex pages deciphered. And we got two health squares. Get in. Stop us from dying. I don't think I've died. We've been killed by a Jedi in the second episode. Never going to let that go, by the way. If you could have seen my facial expressions there, it would have been oh, amazing. So we have the hiding spot kill. That's always really useful. Um, now, if I remember correctly, I think what he's making for us when we're doing this is a second hidden blade, which means he can double assassinate. And that's really useful when you're trying to escape places like that. So we've had, so far, we've had our cover, no, was that a cover? Hiding spot assassination, and also then air assassination, both really useful. And this one as well is also really useful. Ledge assassination. It helps you out quite a lot. I've got, I always seem to get an itchy nose when I'm doing this. So that's there. And is that a chest? Is there? Where's that chest? I really want to find that chest. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'll find the chest. Where on earth is it? On the top of the roof. Chest. 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 Whenever going to think I'm weird, just shouting chest at the top. Well, I'm not shouting at the top of my voice. I will find it later because otherwise we'll be there for three hours. Right, let's go see how Leonardo is doing. So that was nice and quick, thankfully. Basic, basic Assassin's Creed. Um, things like that. Um, I've done it. Come quick. What have you done? Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox? Shh. A pisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the mercato, where the thieves dwell. My name's being really loud, um, hopefully. Oh, a thousand florins, that'd be really good. Um, okay, um, so the fox is like in charge of um, the Thieves Guild, which are really useful. So not only can he hire the... Ah! <laughs> Oops. I also um, went around robbing quite a lot of people. Um, and I think we get like 1,200 florins every 20 minutes on... The villa thing now. More races unlocked. These are the sort of things I'm, I think I'm just going to do off screen. Um, I'll record them then if I decide that 
they're quite interesting then up and then a uh, little speed montage but to be honest nobody particularly wants to sorry oh god I'm so sorry um, yes double hidden blade uh, nobody really wants to see me just walking around opening chests and robbing people if you do leave a comment and we'll um see what we can do it will mean that we'll let's play our last like 15 extra episodes right let's let me see also in terms of the truth I am gonna find all them at the end and put them all in a little in montage obviously we found two of them but who They do my head in. They absolutely do my head in. One of the most annoying things on the game. That guy just walked straight through me. What? My pouch. My that money. guy just walked straight through me. I don't have your money. <laughs> Get here. Get back here. Make me. Oh, uh -huh. oh, I will. You're making a big mistake, my friend. I win. Easy as that. How do we I get really on the roof? I have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Ah. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Galliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Mr. Ed. Forgive me if I'm... Isn't a cutthroat <laughs> and a murderer the same thing? How do you know my name? <laughs> It is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. Ross is like Need a plane flying someone. over my house. You know where he'll be before so even he does. The, the, the place was silent Francesco when I called him to record. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Ma certo. Let me know when you are ready. And we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Here is your money. Ah, you give us an extra 600. Nice. Let me see if that, ch is that chest, if this chest is right at the top of here, I'm just going to get it. God, to be honest, I need that. I want that chest. There it is. Look. Is that it? Oh, crud. <laughs> what? What the? Okay, that's a sign not to go and get it. That's a sign not to get it. Right, where were we? <clears throat> oh, we're just dropping down there. So yeah, this is just going to be another little filling in the blank kind of connecting episode. Those last two, episode 9 and 10, are going to have been connecting episodes and hopefully from episode 11 we can do some bits that might be... But we must move fast. Slightly more exciting to up? finish my sentence there, That's but even if, you know, this is part of the game, so... I'd much rather put these sort of things in. Find your viewpoints stuff like that. I have all the viewpoints down in Florence, I think. Unless any more appear later on. Which I'm not actually sure if they do. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, I better go up this way. Just like that. <laughs> what are you doing back there? I said to keep up well, the games are actually letting me move, so that's kind of a bit unfair, isn't it? Well, that's clearly going to help. Now, I have a feeling I'm going to fail this. <laughs> oh, now what's bleeping? Get up the wall! Oh, my gosh. Come on, we can do it. We've got 30 seconds. We've got 33 seconds. Come on. Oh yeah, exciting news. Croc, the PS1 classic arrived today. I got the box like right next to me. And I'm so excited to play that. I might well, I am gonna record this. Right. Oh can we just restart this game? And then if we if we bought it, I think that's it to stop us here. Let's just fail it. Let's just fail it. Let's fail. Let's start running back to where we actually need to start. It. I don't know what happened there. Do not know what happened there. Oh, for crying out loud! <sighs> Great start. Eh? Great start. I don't actually think I've died. I think I've just failed at missions like that. 
let's try again. Let's try again. Second time's the charm. Sausage the scope here. Go this way. Jump across. You see, I played this game for like two hours off camera, and I thought I was getting pretty used to kind of the the that like the engine of the game and kind of when to jump, how to and everything like that. I thought I was getting pretty good at it. <laughs> Apparently not. Just run across here. Way. Almost messed that up. Hopefully we can bring it back. Yeah, we got this. We got this. I could I could walk the rest of the way, but I'm not gonna. With time to spare. With time to spare. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs. Oh, there we're gonna do a bit of city. spying. They this is gonna be awesome. A place where you can eavesdrop underneath it. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Mm. Buona fortuna. It's gonna be really useful later in the story. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's like this. This the game's filled with so many like awesome characters. You know, absolutely awesome characters. Like Ezio Auditore is like one of my favorite characters in like, the history of games. But you know, there's so many of my favorite characters in this game. You know, like Sean, Leonardo da Vinci. Um, that's all I can think of, you know, the, the Fox, you know, Christina, you know, some of the later game spoilers, and you know, there's a Sophia in there, and I think it's say Revelations and things like that, you know, there's so many brilliant characters out there, but there's just so many to name. So this is like our first ruin of the game. Now, as far as I can recall, Novella's Secret. As far as, I, as far as I can recall, this is where you can get one of the um, little key things to um, unlock Altier's armor, which we saw in the last episode. If you haven't watched the last episode, it is a bit dry, but de definitely go back and see it. Because um, kind of not important storyline happens, but some important stuff, kind of like updates of the game and stuff like that. And you get to see my first attempt at face cam and stuff like that, which is quite funny. Um, again, do let me know in the comments what you think of the, like, the face cam. Does it improve the game? Does it make it worse? Do you want to just get rid of it? I can just stop using it, you know. Let me know. You know, I'm perfectly willing to do face cam if you want to. If not, okay, I'm not, I won't be offended. Right. Now I can I can remember. I remember. I, I'm not sure what that noise was. I can remember a lot of this, so I think I should be all right knowing what I'm saying. That. I don't know where, is this the right way? This must be the right way. No. Get. That's clearly not the right way to fall down like that. Let's climb back up this side a bit. I don't look like this. Let's just heal ourselves quickly. Um, I think we got through here. Um, is there a chest in there? There's another handle. Let's pull the handle. Let's pull the handle. Always bewilders me, like how they build these sort of things. Like it's amazing. It's like, it's like <laughs> how did how did they work out how to build these sort of things? Like an epic Minecraft. Uh, I struggle to do a lot of things in Minecraft. I couldn't build something like this. Even though it's not Minecraft, I mean, just like. There's a film, a uh, really good film with Nicolas Cage and called National Treasure. And that's got, like, all these, like, really weird, like, specs and, like, gadgets and things like that that were built, like, in. I can't remember when the film set. Big fan of the film, obviously. But, you know, there's all these bits and bops in them, like the Aztecs and stuff like that, and they're like building all these like, amazing things that people nowadays can't even build. So, I, I don't. How long do we have to stand here? As long as I tell you. As I, you know, it, it's, it bewilders me how they. I mean, is it fictional that they built, really the built things like this? I don't murderers. know. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. A really itchy nose. I'm getting cold again. Which is annoying. Literally the whole of this year I've had a cold. Like one after the other, just like that. Now, <laughs> the first game used to die in water and there was something very, very similar to this puzzle actually. And I seem to remember always falling in to freaking water and dying. <laughs> well, it's clearly not right, let's see, what do we do? Um so we need to get up there. So do we we do. I wasn't watching when it's. Oh, here we go. Look. 
I was watching when the camera panned around to show us what we're meant to do. Is this what we're meant to do? Probably not. Uh, oh, do we climb the assassin's turret? Oh, fuck. Oops. Let's see. People will be screaming at me right now. Like, it's not like that, you idiot. You do that. Do you climb this? No. Um. Uh. I've only played this game fifty thousand times. Uh. No. 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 I do. Um. Uh, <laughs> um. 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 <laughs> That's all I can really say right now. Um. This looks. Oh, there we go. Oh, we missed it. I worked it out. I worked it out. I worked it out. I've got it. I almost got it. There we go. Let's climb up the wall. Oops. You saw nothing. Just gonna loot him. Did in quite a good match. So when we get back to the villa, I'll show you what updates I've done. Uh, if we do get back in this episode, uh, it might well be a couple of episodes down the line. But next time we're at the villa, I can show you what we've done. We'll put a few purple pages on the wall. It's the ones that we found. If we if we found any more in the meantime, we can hang them up as well. And also, we can do some nice updates to either Ezio, which we probably will do anyway, get some better armor and um, things like that. But also, we can upgrade the villa in the town even more, make us even more money. You see how this works? Oh, there goes. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay, I'm actually watching this time. Okay, you see these sort of contraptions here, realistically would they have built this sort of thing back then? Oh there's a chest there and I really want the chest. So I'm going to get the chest. I'm not sure if you can always come back down here, so I'll get the chest anyway. Whoops, it is. What do we do? Come on, come on Ezio, let's work together. Work together on this. Work together. Interesting fact for you. You know, I was, I was talking about Croc earlier arriving. There was. Oh, crud. There was an old receipt in it. See, I just shouldn't talk. I should just concentrate. Um, but there's an old receipt in it from like when it was bought before he sold it on eBay. And he bought it for £50. That's incredible. Like, he bought a PS1. I didn't pay £50 on it. <laughs> But this guy paid fifty pound for a PS One game. You know, I I I hedge my bets of paying that for a PS Four game with all the new like gameplay and stuff like that. Like I don't play that. For, I don't really pay that. Unless it's an amazing game or like amazingly hyped that I really want to play game. I don't pay that for a PS Four game. You know, I didn't. I I bought it for like uh, seven pounds something. So bargain. Compare. <laughs> Compared to you know, for, you know, fifty pound for the game, it's an absolute bargain. So, I'm pretty pleased with that. <laughs> That's better. There we are. So, oh, let's activate this. I think I need to get my glasses adjusted. They don't want to go falling down my nose. Open sesame. I don't know why I'm looking over there. The door. Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm a running to the other guard post. So help me God. Gosh. Alright, let's do this a bit. Can we assess anything from here? Probably not. Let's swing down here. Okay, let's let's examine the situation here. So I don't know what I'm going to do. If I can get behind. Find a dead body. Yeah. 
Yes! That is the beauty of double assassination. Right there. That was blooming awesome. <laughs> Game bloom upon. Blooming awesome. Let's just loot these guys. I think he runs anyway, so I don't think we'll be alright. I'll be back with the other guards. They're already dead, mate. If we let me run, let me run. I'll have blessing for waiting for us. He's not going to get me. Leave me alone. I'll leave you alone when you're dead. Um, this way. Wee! Oh gosh, oh, I'm dead. Oh, that went well. Oh, I hope the guy waits for us after that. Must do. Like, if he didn't wait for us, he'd already got to the guards. Just seem to remember to get to anyway. Fairly epic music. Try again. Oh, bless him for waiting for us. These sort of things, these sort of chases don't feel quite as smooth in this game. Leave me alone! Guards, two arms! That door closed um, really quickly. Stupidly quickly. I keep slouching. If I'm gonna slouch, I should lower the webcam. Oh dear. Right. Lots of things to do. Uh, let's do this. Oh, what? You can't use throwing knives? Must be. Why not? Why not? Fine. Just kill them all. Fun and bashing time. Let's do some counters. Someone attack me then. Two left. My apologies. One left. All gone. Ooh. That was pretty cool. Let's just loot these guys. Eavesdrop on the Templars meeting. It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The date's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? 
Impossible. The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. Molto bene. I have some other business Cosa to attend. Molto bene. Cosa Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the father of understanding guide us. May, May the father, father of understanding, understanding guide, guide us. So they're all the people we have to kill. Open us up. Who is this? Look at that statue. It's identical hey, to the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassins' tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Let's rob in chests first. Give me some money. Give me some loot. Not sure what happened there, but it was Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. All the chests, I got all the chests, so let's go. Let me out. Push. Reminds me of a scene from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, that. Got to pop out in the middle of Venice. Same country, different city. I know where Francesco will be and when. What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. The typical of Sixtus, but... What the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici. And it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of high mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd. Get close and stop this madness. If they succeed. If we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi. It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. Yeah, me too. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave it right there. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't joined the content today, please smash the living day out of that like button. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by us here on Game Bloom, please subscribe there. Please subscribe. And hopefully, if you do, every subscriber we gain, I will learn one more word in English that I can speak. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you may be doing. And I'll see you all next time on Assassin's Creed 2. Bye! Uh, yeah.